Hi, welcome to Narayshiri. My name is Satish. In the last video, already discussed what are the steps required to develop the project by using GRC implementation. So, in this video, I am going to be introducing how to implement all the steps practically. Means, I am going to be developing the GRC first application. Okay. So, just in the last video, I covered only theoretical points. So, that is I am going to be implementing practically in this video. Okay, just I am going to be developing very basic example to understand actually how to develop the RESTful service application by using JRC implementation. Okay, once again I am giving the overview on the steps. Okay, what are the steps required to develop the application? Step 1 is create root resource class. Step 2 is what? Create resource methods. Step 3 is what? Configure servlet, servlet in web.xml file. This is which servlet now? Jersey provided servlet. Jersey already provided one servlet. Step 4 is deploy the project into the server. Deploy the project into the server. Okay. So, here which API actually I am using as JAX RS API implementation is Jersey implementation. Okay. So, by using JAX RS API with Jersey implementation, how to develop the application? These steps actually we discussed in the last class. This one. So, now I am going to be implementing this one practically. Okay, so, here I am going to be using Eclipse ID to create our jersey project, file, new, dynamic web project. Okay, we know jersey is having two versions, jersey 1.x and jersey 2.x. In this video, I am using jersey 1.x example, jersey 1.x example 1, web.xml, finish. Okay, in this, web content web and a web dot xml ok. So, this is the project structure first before going to be starting the root resource and resource methods I will include the jars which one jersey 1.x jars I am going to be including. So, here the jersey 1.x jars you can download from jersey official website when you are downloading it is actually coming as a archive file archive file. So, extract that archive file here we will get the lib folder. In the lib folder whatever the jars required those jars are available. So, I am going to be using now these jars in our project. Actually now we are developing service provider application. So, client side jar not required. Yeah. So, these are the jars I am included in the jersey project. Okay. So, here jars ready the application structure is also be ready. So, next what is required? Okay, in this first what is required create root resource class root resource class here I am going to be creating file new class. Okay, the class name for example, I am choosing like product resource product resource package name like com dot narish dot resources finish. product resource. Okay. So, here actually it is not a root resource right now, it is a simple Java class. Now, I want to make this class as a root resource. So, to make this class as a root resource, the class denote with at the rate of path annotation. Okay, at the rate of path annotation not given by jersey implementation, at the rate of path annotation is given by JAX RS API. So, even though any implementation if you are using, we can work with JAX RS API annotations only. Okay. So, here at the rate of path, when we are using at the rate of path, actually our resource is exposing over the network, our resource data is accessing by the clients through URI. So, because of that reason to expose our resource over the network, some URI required. So, at the rate of path, when we are using some URI configuration, we are writing like products. So, okay. Next product resource okay public okay in this what is my goal is here i wanted to 
search the products and I will return the product information to the client search products ok. So, here whenever some products searching it is required we return the product details to the client the product details I want to hold in the product object and I want to send. So, your product is acting as a Java bean. So, now in this project I required one Java bean here in this project I required one Java bean with which name product. So, now I am going to be creating a Java bean with the name of product new class product ok the package is com dot nourish it dot beans products ok the product implements serializable serializable ok private int product id private stream product name private double price so now what is required right click source setters and getters so why i am creating product is just to, to hold the product details and to send the product over the network only just here i am going to be creating what product class so okay here i am coming to product resource import product resource yeah so here i am going to be now writing my logic just here i am writing some simple logic for example product product is equal to new product 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 dot set product id 101 product dot set p name ok product name like mouse product dot set price 300 so like this so now observe here this is a simple java method in this actual i am created one java object product and return watch products is ok so now actually we required we make this java method as a resource method it is a not a resource method right now we required we make as a resource method ok resource method is that nothing but web service method only so to make this one as a resource method the method you can denote with the resource method designator annotations the resource method designator annotations like what get to post if you are denoting with get it will accept http protocol get request if you are denoting with post it will accept http protocol post request is ok so here search products it is returning what product but our client is java or dot net or php there is no guarantee directly we are not going to be returning the java object to the client the product object actually we will return to the client in a specific media type in a specific media type like xml json so now i want to return this product object to the client in the form of json so to return the product details to the client in the form of json here we can work with the producers annotation the producers annotation is allows to specify the media type that is mime type for example here i am writing the media type is what products here i am writing the media type as what application slash json then the product object is a producing in the form of json and exposing over the network the product object is a here converting into json and exposing over the network whereas it is a returning to which one client in the form of json so here root resource class if you wanted to develop work with the path annotation to make one java method as a resource method work with at the rate of get and to return your product details in the form of json or xml then work with what producers ok method level also possible to use a uh, uri configurations method level also if you wanted to provide the uri configuration then here write search product ok just here method level also I am using how the client can access ok products slash products slash search product then client will access like this ok in this example actually I am not focusing the input data here I am not focusing input data ok only I am focusing the output just very 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 basic example here I am discussing ok so here this is what root resource and resource methods so these are the two steps over 
So, next what is required? Can figure the surlet in web dot xml that is which surlet? Jersey provided surlet. Okay, Jersey 1 point x version is provided the following surlet. So, this surlet now I am going to be configuring com dot sun dot jersey dot spa dot container dot surlet dot surlet container surlet container. Now, copy this one. So, I am coming to web dot xml in web dot xml here remove welcome files ok total remove welcome files now configure the surlet jersey provided surlet now I am configuring just like a normal surlet 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 name is jersey surlet surlet class is com dot sun dot jersey dot spa dot container dot surlet dot surlet container and uh, load on startup ok to create the surlet object whenever my project is deploying on the server ok I am going to be configuring what load on startup for example I am taking load on startup like one next to surlet mapping in surlet mapping here what is I required surlet name ok like jersey surlet next to url pattern url pattern like slash tag so here i am using directory match url pattern so any request coming from client request can handling by the circlets so here up to this root resource resource methods are uh, circlet configuration all are ready then deploy this project into the server okay so here i am using tamcat server i am going to be deploying under tamcat server ok I am choosing tamcat 8 and I am going to be deploying on tamcat 8 ok yes. So, your server started and also your root resource classes also be found very clearly saying information root resource class found which one is a root resource product resource. Now, how to test actually this web service is now accessing by the client client application required but as a service provider my application is a uh, running properly or not to check here I am going to be using some tools actually to test the restful services number of tools are there for example like soap ei tool soap ei tool supporting to test soap web services and restful web services postman tool ok rest client tool rest client tool rest client tool advanced rest client tool like number of tools are there I am going to be using now rest client tool ok. So, here how to add the rest client tool ok just search for rest client tool ok the rest client tool is actually given by Mozilla it is required to be include as a add on. So, here open this rest client tool here add to which one Firefox. So, add. So, to test our restful service application, I am going to be using this rest client tool. Yeah, install. Now, it is asking to restart the browser, compulsory restart that browser. So, now rest client tool is coming with this browser. Ok, now how to test our service? Here, actually, when we are including rest client tool, here it is attaching to the browser as a plugin like this. So, open the rest client open the rest client yeah this is the rest client tool here what type of request method you want what is the url of your resource now type and send. So, here I am typing the url http colon localhost colon my server port number is 8083 slash jersey 1.x example 1 products slash search product products slash search products click on send button yeah so now what happened response headers 200 and application slash json so next response body now try to check the product details here coming in the form of json json will maintain the data as a key and value json is simple string format it will maintain the data as a key and value now this data is understanding by any programming language any technology 
So, our service provider application is providing the response in the form of JSON. Even though client is java.net PHP can understand and can communicate with our service provider application. So, the web services main goal is providing the communication between any language application to any language application only that is satisfying by now our application. So, okay, so, like we can develop the application by using which one jersey. So, just basic example I am implemented practically. So, in the next videos I will cover some another examples with JSC implementation. For more videos subscribe Nareshadi YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.